Welcome back to the Deep Dig Sports Pod. I'm your host, Drew, my other host right over there. What's up? It's D. Good to see you again. Be sure to hit that like button. Drop some comments below. Let us know your thoughts because this is a show that cares. And be sure to subscribe. It all helps us out. It pushes us to other people just like you who want to see this content. Uh, I think we wanted to talk more quarterback talk with the Browns because Deshaun Watson is out. I mean, every week it's like, oh, he might play this week. And then, no, he's not going to play. And it's been that for like, I don't know how long. No timetable on his return, his shoulder. Um, what is he, $250 million guaranteed? Yep. Something like that. So, in, and when he did play, he did he not look good. Yeah, he looked terrible. This Browns team, I wanted to talk about them because I was like, oh, yeah, they're not good. They're not going to do anything. But they've surprised me. This team is really good. And they're doing it with no quarterback play. Like, P.J. Walker is rolling out there. Uh, Dorian Thomas Robinson. He he is not looking there yet to carry this offense. Both quarterbacks have struggled. They haven't really done much. Uh, but they've got enough to win games because of this defense and because of this these skill players. So how are we feeling about the Browns right now? And not only are they not doing this with QB1, right? They're not doing this with Nick Chubb, who is a monster for this team, dude. So – to do this, basically, the defense is just Miles Garrett is putting the whole team on his back, and like this team is playing tough, just a hard nosed football. If they ha- imagine if this team had a competent quarterback, even a top 15 to 20 quarterback, just in those you know from 15 to 20 range, what they would be doing, like it's insane. Because even so, with PJ Walker, they've looked better. Yes. Than what they did with Deshaun Watson. Yeah, and Deshaun Watson is literally the opposite of Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson had to fight, scratch and claw to get paid. And when he did, he proved them right. He's going out there balling. He looks like he's going to be the MVP this year. When Deshaun Watson basically was like, ah, you know what, I don't really want to go there. The Cleveland Browns are like, we'll, we'll fully guarantee your contract. We'll fully guarantee your contract. And he was like, oh, okay, cool. And did you see uh, his uh, QB coach got into it with uh, uh, Brady Quinn? No. Yeah, uh, that dude, uh, I think Quincy something, got into it, Brady Quinn, and Brady Quinn was like, oh, let's massage this conversation and let's get a happy ending for everybody. (laughs) Yeah, that's the thing is like he came in with so much controversy and it was kind of like, wow, you're really going to guarantee all this money for this guy? And the rest of the league was looking at them with a side eye because – they don't want to give out those type of contracts. And the fans are looking at them like, wow, this guy really has to play amazing to win us over. And it's just not been the case. And you would have thought like, okay, a contract for a quarter starting quarterback, maybe a top five, top 10 quarterback, the expectation coming in like 45 mil a year, great deal. But now it's like, man, we can, we really wish we didn't have all this cap money tied up with this guy. and. If he were to play, I think we said this way back, like he needs to play this full year to get back into the flow, knock the rust off. And then next year, we'll see how he is. Mm-hmm. But now he's not playing and it's just going to keep delaying this, like him getting back into the swing of things. And you can't get off his contract for at least three years, maybe four. Because his, was it his cap hit? Uh, is, it goes up fucking crazy. Yeah. It's his dead cap is over 200 million for the next two years individually. So, like 220 and then like 200 next year. The year after that, I believe it's like 125 million dead cap. And the year after that, I think it's 75. So, you really cannot get rid of this guy for four years, no matter how bad he plays. Oh, man. And you know, Stefanski's pissed because he's an offensive guy. You know, he's like, all right, well, I can scheme it up the best I can. Well, realistically, it's on you, Deshaun. And Deshaun just doesn't look interested. He just doesn't look like he wants to be out there. He's like at least once or twice a game when he does play, he just throws up random throws and just like, fuck it. Yeah, whatever. Someone will catch this or he, it'll be. He had to address the question where they were saying uh, if he really if he doesn't want to come back this year because it's Cleveland, he doesn't really care. And he was like, oh, why do you think I do this? Like, of course, I want to play. I mean, the money, that's why we think. 
Yeah, so uh, I mean, it's it's gonna be weird in Cleveland because, like, even look at Baker. Blake, Baker's playing pretty good for yeah. Tampa. I mean, they're not like uh, they don't have an amazing record, but they're you know they're better than people thought, and like Baker's better than people thought. I think he's for sure a starting quarterback in this league. And imagine him right now with this team; they'd be putting pretty good numbers up. I mean, you ran out the guy who got you a playoff win after being a joke franchise for years and years and years it's because you needed a quote unquote adult in the room. And then you go out and get a guy who's proven to be questionable at best with decision-making. So <laughs> at best, at, at best, best questionable. questionable. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty uh, ridiculous. I mean, you can't even like justify it with good play. Like, hey, you know what? Yeah, he might be, he might be a monster off the field, but he's a monster on the field. <laughs> scary yeah. Halloween. You have to go hang out with Deshaun Watson. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> he just slid in your DMs. Oh no. <laughs> um so I think it's it's tough. Because we were saying just a couple weeks ago, Russell Wilson had the worst co- contract in the NFL. It's terrible. And now we're like, Deshaun Watson, you're taking up the mantle. You were so bad that the Broncos now are looking pretty good. <laughs> All right, guys. That's everything. Go ahead and comment, like, subscribe. We appreciate you guys.